Hey folks, and this video we're going to be talking about the best way to get audio from your church sound system into the A10 Mini. So let's go. Hey folks, Asia the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I am here at my church cleaning up the mess <laughs> that people left in here from Sunday, putting stuff back in order. Um, but what I want to do is I had a couple of people ask me to do a video on how to get um, proper sound into the A10 Mini. So I'm here at my church and I'm going to show you how to do it because mainly when I use this at home, I just have my Rode video mic plugged in. So I want to show you from a sound system standpoint which ways that you can get good audio in. So let me get my A10 Mini set up and we'll be back in a second. All right, so within the A10 Mini, you obviously have the two mic inputs here. Now, here at, with my sound system here, there is a, one way is to get one of these, it depends if you have an XLR output on the back of your sound system, it's just to get an XLR to stereo type of connection, and that's one of the easiest ways to do that. Because again, you want to consider the line out is nothing more than a speaker that you're going into this. So you can have any line out that's on the back of this. Let me take this so y'all can see. So we're looking for a line out on the back of our system here. And see, these are inputs. And those are outputs at the bottom there. So that would be one way to do it, but as you can see on ours, all of ours are used up. So if I had one free, technically I can pull this out and use this and there we go. That's one way to get into, to get some sound from here. Now, now also for my setup um, here, I kind of know, and this lavalier wasn't working, um, we actually convert our sound using this Behringer Ultramatch because it converts it to for the sound of our original A10. Now, and that is using this RCA cable. And there are plenty of other cables to use to adjust this as well. And I don't know why this changed color on me, but I mean, it's to get a converter out of here, but in the back of this, um, Ultra Match, there is a XLR output, so that would work as well too for our sound. And honestly, <laughs> if you really, really, really need something, is you can come out from your headphones. As long as you get a good mix that's coming out, I can just come out with another stereo cable and go right into the ATEM that way to get sound. Those are some of the, the best ways. Mainly, you're going to have to convert it anyway to a stereo type of cable. Um, now, another way you could do it, and this is what I used to do with my ATEM when the XLR stopped working on my um, Studio HD, is to route all, route all of the sound through one of the cameras. So like in this setup with this Panasonic camera that we had talked about before, what I would do is hook up my sound here and connect everything in. And I mean, I'm using this mic, but you can have the line in the same way going into this if you need to. Um, and then here on the ATEM, I would just turn on the sound here and I would get the sound from right here in this example, the shotgun. I mean, there are other cameras where people have XLR right there in the camera. And then especially if you're getting sound from your sound system, this will work because now it's going to send everything over the HDMI to get into your A10 Mini. Again, you want to go for this if you can, but if you don't have any way, always you can use, send the sound over one of your cameras and just bring that in. Especially, you don't want to use the camera's mic, but if you don't have any option, Hey, you go with what you got, but in this scenario, we could pull sound from here, route it into the camera, and then the sound is coming through the HDMI. 
that's one way. Again, ideally, you want to get like an XLR to stereo converter cable like this, come out from a speaker or aux out or something in your soundboard, and then just connect it into the ATEM Mini that way. You also can, if you have like a converter like this, so this would convert it and that um, XLR out and then convert it over to a stereo would bring in sound. Um, again, I'm mainly looking for ways to do this without having to buy anything new here and just use what you got. The main thing that you need is you have to use some form of cable and convert it over to a stereo input because that's what's being accepted. If it doesn't, you can always route the sound through your camera that's connected through the ATEM and then just turn on the sound with the camera and then that will work and as long as it's on, it will carry through through any of your broadcasts and everything because like right now, I have the sound on on this camera which is picking me up and as you can see I have it routed to this computer and as you can see we're getting sound so if I snap so I am getting sound from here and that's one way to do it now granted this is rough but we can always come in here because of the new settings we can always adjust the audio to the levels that you need. And again, as you see, we're bringing in audio from camera one. We can do the equalizer here and make any adjustments if need be. And it's really, really simple. Because like I showed you, when we set up the original ATEM because of the standard of sound that was considered digital or so many different forms of digital, we had to convert it to get audio into it. But now, you just have a regular stereo in. Um, you might wanna play with the settings from setting from mic to line in, depending on how you have it plugged in. But it's really, really simple. You, whatever type of way you're coming out, XLR out um, into the ATEM directly or go through your camera is one of the best options that you can do. But again, that's dependent on if you have some type of um, an additional out. Now, I didn't have it on this one, um, our system up here, I have it upstairs on the other side. Maybe I should just show you that. That'll probably be easy. Yeah, let's go over to the chapel and I'll show you how the setup over there would work too. All right, so I'm over here in our chapel with the Behringer that we had set up earlier this year. And as you see, here are all our mic ends here. Now we could actually do output from here and just get a similar cable like this, red and white that goes to a stereo. That would give us sound out of here. Here's a, um, we would have to get the, the female version of this cable, but this would give us a monitor out. This would work. We can do a splitter on this if need be. You could also use any of the, um, believe that's all aux out. I could be wrong with that, but mainly you could use any of these to come out if that's actually a out. Again, I don't remember off the top of my head the manuals around here somewhere, but you can go from a quarter inch and then just um, adjust it down to a stereo cable. Um, you just got to make sure if you're doing left and right channels, you can um, merge those together and then kind of like how you have it here, connect it out. But there are many ways you can come out of here, like I said, with the red and white um, left and right channels through RCA cables and it converts over to the stereo like this so that would be good here so we have this as an input so if somebody brought a camera here or a type of mp3 player or something like that a phone or something like that to hook up or like i said this could just be hooked up over here and sound out and again there this is a small board so some other boards have additional line outs or these quarter inch outs. I think this aux is, like I said, I'm not 100% sure, um, but check your um, system here, because that's our main mix. Yeah, it's been a while since I looked over this board. Oh well, <laughs> but there's, there's other ways to do it, pretty much is the whole point I'm just trying to say. So I hope that answers your question who asked about ways to get sound in. I mean, there's so many other ways. Like I said, if all else fails, most soundboard sound mixers have a headphones out it's not the ideal way to do it but you could just put a splitter on that and have sound coming into the system from what you hear in the mix and headphones that's the um, way you could do it or you can just pull sound off of the camera 
but if you have a mix a sound system set up the best thing to do is to tap into one of the outs um, if they're all used up do a splitter on it so that you can get sound off of it or hopefully you have an additional output that you're not using whether it be a RCA red and white out um, a quarter inch out an XLR out or kind of in our scenario we had to convert it over to digital and we're using that ultra match pro which has an additional output and we would just come out of that and that would give us sound or again you could always route house sound into one of your centralized cameras and pull the audio off of that and last case um, is just to use the audio for one of the cameras if you don't have access to a sound system. So hopefully that helps. And also, don't forget, if y'all are serious about stepping up your live streaming game at your church, or if you don't even know where to get started, modernmediaministry.com has a course that we're dropping in January 1st on Church Live Streaming 101 that goes over everything that you need sound video computer internet workflow software everything we're going to cover everything with additional bonus videos that are being added um, based on what the students are asking for and other churches are asking for so go sign up for it you got a few more days to use the early bird um, discount code for it um, would knocks off a significant amount of money off of it check it out a link will be in the description and keep dropping me some questions here in the comments for what you want with the a10 mini i am more than happy to go over them and help y'all out because again this is a game changer for anybody at 300 dollars. there's also a link to the places that have it in stock um if it's not there just keep going to those links and make sure that they'll be updated sooner or later i think dve store still has it i think bh photo is um back ordered again um, and Amazon is actually getting some realistic prices now so a link is there as well so anyway if you like this type of content I appreciate a like consider subscribing and hit that bell that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry this is AJ we will see you on the next video